Sajid Javid has brought cheer to us all at the start of this new year, uh, which is the last thing I could possibly have imagined uh, saying about this petulant and inept health minister uh, beholden to the new world order. And his comical mistake was to organise a, a televised walkabout at King's College Hospital uh, to get some good PR for jabbing everybody until kingdom come. And you've probably all seen the footage, I'm sure, but I thought I would add a few comments, uh, if only to highlight what a, a revolting little man Javid is. And the first thing to notice is just who he chose to bully. Now, he didn't assemble a group of senior doctors or battled hardened middle-aged matrons with degrees in common sense uh, and a healthy disdain for pipsqueak politicians uh, interfering with their busy schedule. Uh, instead, he assembled a group of young female nurses and told them to stay where they were whilst the camera crew set everything up. Now, imagine how nervous they must have been as the Mekon's PR stunt uh, unfolded before their astonished eyes. And then he hit them with a the killer question in that curious staccato voice of his, uh, quote, uh, Hello, you delightful young nurses. How much do you like working for me? And do you want to continue working for me after April the 1st? Uh, he didn't quite say that, of course. What he actually asked them was their opinion on mandatory vaccinations for healthcare workers, uh, but I think we all know it amounts to the exact same thing. And their silent, frightened reaction to his question spoke volumes. They know their jobs are on the line if they fail to give him the correct answer. Uh, take a look here, courtesy of those lovely impartial journalists at Sky News. What do you, what do you think of the, the new rule to require vaccination of all NHS staff? <laughs> As I say, they all look thoroughly ill at ease, uh, but the embarrassing silence is suddenly broken by consultant anaesthetist Steve James uh, riding to their rescue astride a metaphorical white charger. I'm not happy, he says, and then proceeds to set about the odious little squirt with a series of facts, uh, all presented in a slightly nervous uh, yet dignified and devastating manner. The science isn't strong enough, said the magnificent Steve James, which floored Javid so completely uh, he gave up immediately, but did so in his uh, typically ignorant, rude and cowardly manner. Uh, that's your view, he said, and then returned to his original prey to get the answer he wanted. And your views, uh, he barked in his strangulated syntax. Uh, any views on that? Any views on that? Uh, but Steve James grabbed him again and proceeded to state a few more basic truths. And having been utterly defeated, uh, Javid's aggressive response is that he takes his advice from people who are vaccine experts, uh, thus arrogantly dismissing this consultant anaesthetist with two years' experience in treating COVID victims. Uh, but Steve James wasn't giving Javid his view at all, he was giving him facts, uh, which sadly is a matter of reality lost on our objectionable and inadequate health minister. Uh, look at him here. Uh, does he really look like a person uh, open to calm professional discussion? Now, anyone could be forgiven for thinking he believes that his battle to save us all from a virus with an infection fatality rate beginning with a zero uh, is akin to morphing into a gun-slinging Wyatt Earp taking out the Clanton gang at the OK Corral. So it's a great pity Javid cut the interview short and legged it. It would have been interesting uh, to hear a, a, a longer discussion between the health secretary and an experienced consultant. Uh, but that is precisely why uh, Javid, unlike his alter ego Wyatt Earp, uh, had it away on his toes, of course. Consultant James really is an expert, but he's the wrong sort of expert as far as Javid is concerned. Uh, Steve James devotes his life to helping his patients uh, rather uh, than promoting the financial interests <coughs> of Big Pharma and the uh, delightful Bill Gates which is not something that could, uh, that could be said of Javid's experts, uh, not something that could be said at all. 
And if we're to get out of the catastrophic situation that Javid and his experts have put us in, we'll need hundreds more, Steve James. I know they're there, but I also know they're afraid to speak out. But that said, it is now time for them to be as brave as the wonderful Mr. James. Uh, so come on, all of you senior doctors. Uh, you must remember your guiding principle of first do no harm. Show some courage. Speak out. Join him, because combined you have the power to force this rotten, corrupt, totalitarian government into the dustbin of history, and thence we can but dream the dock at Nuremberg too. Now, the full Sky News video is in the link below this video, but Sky have edited it, and I can't find the original uh, in which Steve James told Javid that the overwhelming majority of his COVID patients were very overweight uh, with obesity-related comorbidities. And this fact, this absolute reality, is not part of the narrative our wicked government and our wicked mainstream media is intent on portraying, of course, uh, which is that all those hospitalized by COVID-19 are the ignorant, untermensch, unvaccinated. And in order to drive this misinformation, this, this blatant lie, the criminals behind it are happy to vax shame people who are not in COVID wards, uh, whilst refusing to fat shame people who are in COVID wards. Where's the science in that? Indeed, where is the morality, honesty, and decency in that? As I say, Nuremberg too awaits these criminals.